bullfighting. To some, it is an art. To others, a game. To many, it is a spectacle. While to the uninitiated, it is but mere cruelty to animals. What is it about bullfighting that makes men and women risk their life and limb for the opportunity to subdue a wild beast? Is it for fame or glory? Is it an innate instinct for survival? Or is it something much more primal, like the need for dominion over other creatures? Whatever reason there may be for the existence and persistence of this form of confrontation between human and beast, one thing is absolutely certain. Bullfighting has always been and will always be part of the Iberian identity and by extension, our colonial history. Indeed, in our not so distant past, the Philippines was once the cradle of Corrida de Toros in Asia. And not very many Filipinos know that bullfighting is very much alive in the archipelago, even today. Bullfighting in the Philippines by Gaspar A. Vibal is the most extensive study on the subject of Toramaki in the archipelago. It reconstructs a much richer history and development of bullfighting in the islands than anyone ever imagined. Much of what was known about bullfighting in the Philippines was based on Wenceslao y Retana's Fiestas de Toros en Filipinas and three academic essays written by Francisco Miguel Aranega, Jose Angel del Barrio, and Jorge Mojaro. The book divides the chronology of bullfighting in the islands into four epics, which are all well documented and enriched with no less than a total of 163 images, many of which are rare or previously unknown. It also includes the first English translation of Wenceslao Retana's original work, as well as several other appendices, such as a glossary of essential Taurine terms for use by the English-speaking public, a chronology, a who's who of its pertinent actors, and a complete table of the bullfights held in the Philippines between 1602 to the present. The first chapter quickly traces the most important milestones of bullfighting's evolution in medieval and proto-modern times in Spain. It also delves into a very important topic, the Philippine origin of the horses and the bulls that would make it possible to stage the first bullfights on horseback as practiced in Spain. The reader's attention are drawn to the presence of a considerable bovine population from the end of the 16th throughout the 17th century, substantiated by the report on the existence of 24 cattle ranches in the environs of Manila by 1609. The island of Masbate became a center of bullfighting in the 19th century, while the famed Batangas bulls were documented by Retana. The author proves that from early modern times, Philippine bullfighting possessed the equine and bovine populations necessary for the horse-mounted bullfight of the 17th and 18th centuries. The second chapter, which is dedicated to bullfighting in the Baroque era, is enriched by the author's collaboration with the great Spanish researcher Jose Angel del Barrio Munoz a Manila resident until this year and the author of two monographs, one on the War of Succession in the Philippines and another on the historical actions of the enlightened governor Fernando Valdez Tamon, as well as one of the best essays on Philippine bullfighting during the 17th and 18th centuries. With their respective studies, Gaspar Vibal and Jose Angel del Barrio Munoz 
established how Manila bullfights and Juegos de Cañas, or games at canes, corresponded with those staged in other regions of the Spanish Empire, such as in Seville, Palermo, Mexico, Lima, and Quito. It also dates the year of the first regular bullfight, which was staged in the archipelago, as documented by the Jesuit Pedro Chirino in 1602, a celebration in honor of the Holy Child of Cebu that took place on that Visayan island, and which was replicated in a feast held in Manila in honor of its patron, San Andres. The third chapter discusses the golden age of Philippine bullfighting in the 19th century, as evidenced by the emergence of numerous ranches dedicated to the breeding of Cimarron bulls, the proliferation of bull rings after the first construction of 1790, the establishment of bullfighting clubs such as the Sociedad de Taurofilos in 1867 and La Confianza in the 1880s, the appearance of the first bullfighting publications such as La Puya in 1885 with two issues, La Peña in 1890 with a single issue, Manililia Bullfighting Supplements in 1892, and the Manililia Sport in 1894. It also chronicles the rise of the first famous bullfighters who attracted the devout admiration of fans and drove huge numbers of spectators, such as Gaspar Diaz Cantoral, Labi, or Lavi, Telesforo Gonzalez, El Americano, and Eduardo Albazan, Bonifa, and their female counterparts, Lolita Pretel, and Angelita Pajes. The last chapter, the longest in the book, discusses the decline and eventual disappearance of fiestas de toros in the country. It illustrates the enmity that the American occupiers nurtured against Spanish legacy in the Philippines, most especially the demonization of bullfighting, which American colonizers regarded as the greatest symbol of Spanish barbarism. The advocacy of various groups for the protection of animals further undermined the bullfighting tradition until its official prohibition in 1899, which essentially spelled the death sentence of the fiesta in the archipelago. The tradition would, however, prove its resiliency when on 25 July 1913, on the occasion of the festivities of Santiago or St. James, which was also the National Day of Spain, a bullfight took place in Manila. Two other such events took place again in Manila and then Cebu the following year. The practice once again prospered in the 1950s under President Ramon Magsaysay. The last chapter closes with some reflections on the decline of bullfighting in the Hispanic world and the Philippines, concluding with an accurate analysis of the conflicting perceptions that the popular spectacle provokes and that ultimately precipitated the decline of the art. In the Philippines, cockfighting has replaced bullfighting to become the quintessential national entertainment to the present day. There are, however, remnants of this Iberian tradition that can still be found in the country, such as the Pasungay Festival, held in San Joaquin, Iloilo. Bullfighting in the Philippines is the first comprehensive and credible history of Philippine Toromaki. Supported by ample archival material and an exhaustive bibliography that skillfully integrates the best research in the field, the book is also an exciting historical narrative filled with facts that are little known even to bullfighting enthusiasts and scholars. By and large, it is a truly essential book in the construction of a universal history of bullfighting. Manila.
llevan siempre en la mano un pai pai. Que el pai pai en Manila se estila y en el Malacay, ay que se le cae. Y en los días de mucho calor, en la plaza se pasa mejor. 